All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the last issue of Artemis Requiem, issue number six by Mr. Loops, Benes, and Selogi. Selogi. Cover looks really good. Unfortunately, the story is just not so much. <laughs> I'm going to take you through it, and I must say, this, this, this book is insane. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of bad books, and I, you know, I didn't dislike, you know, some of the stories, but. The writing was a little bit on the wall that this wasn't be a, a winner. Um, so without further ado, um, yeah, let's dive in. So we have the Duke of Hell, who is now basically bragging that he has captured Artemis and his friend and her friends. And somehow he comes to the plane from, you know, from the, from the depths of hell to the plane of the real world or something like that, right? And... Um, so he's basically, it's, it's all bragging. It's all bragging. So this guy says, ha, 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 I captured your friends. And it seems that the Hell Enders was, um, you know, um, um, as he called it, um, uh, served his ends. He says, who better to open a portal to my infernal domain than a batch of um, freening, strutting demon, find his quotation marks. And... Um, and also, we see this Warhammer guy who was decapitated. He's hanging here. He says, oh, Mip Mip Kazoo. I find, wait, what? What is that? What do you mean? And um, behold, he's alive. What? Mip Mip Kazoo? Um, so I thought uh, some weird joke. And then um, he's bringing forth, I don't know, a, a part of a storyline. I believe there was an issue two or three about this woman that killed herself and her soul went to hell. And now he's, you know, in fall of her. I'm not sure what this woman needs. Why does it need to be here? I mean, the story was pretty wrapped up, but okay. But, you know, it serves a purpose if you can guess that. But then the writer thinks that it's funny to do stuff like this like sorry sorry and while having the same face ha 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 so what do you think artemis isn't that a great joke like why don't you i didn't see the humor here and then we see a great shot of her hanging around oh, it's the wrong way looks great by the way and uh so now i thought okay so he has captured her right and now he's gonna probably do unspeakable things to her so and then <sighs> Okay, listen. So he orders this demon to take this um, quiver of um, arrows. He says, bring me her arrows. Those points look sharp. Perhaps she will enjoy a taste of them. And then, But it's been sprinkled with holy water. So this guy gets a zap. And then one of her teammates with electrical powers jumps in. And she is free. Wait a minute. So... In the last issue, he comes, you know, cliffhanger. Then he is bragging that he is, ha-ha, I captured you, you know. And then two pages later, she's already free. There's no torturing. There's no, you know, some kind of a defiant battle. And then when all odds were is against her, she miraculously escapes. And then doing the escaping thing. No, just zippity zappity do, and she's free. <laughs> um, remember the arrow thing, by the way. So these guys are uh, free, and she's taking the fight outside while the Hellenders is battling the demons, although it's probably overpowering them. But then this guy says, Mip Mip Gazoo. And I thought, dude, just stop with this bullshit. Crap. Uh, algorithms. Um, and he turns them into hellhounds, sending the hellhounds after her. And he also has some flies around him. Because, I don't know, demons, stinks, maybe. I don't know. Maybe the bugs are attracted to brimstone and fire. Not sure. But then we see Artemis here doing some, I don't know, incantation thing. So the Hellenders or Hellwolves comes here. And, well, they are returned to their former selves. Like, and I thought, how? Why? And, and then... Well, it's getting a little bit explained here. Um, so they are back, and she says, um, Fortunately, Dark Rick Hodge, that's the guy's name, 
seldom bothers to learn a new spell. So he's an Archduke, but he's also lazy. And uh, so this guy... <laughs> we were dogs, hellhounds. He turned us all into animals without even trying. Mip, mip, kazoo, mip, mip, kazoo. Dude, stop with that word. That's his own little joke. That he's so powerful that any phrase, no matter how stupid, is for him an, inc is, is for him an incantation. So it's basically a joke incantation. So he can do, I don't know, abracadabra or zip zap or whatever. Um, but, you know, I wish the... I mean, why don't you... I've been talking to the, uh, the writer that absolutely doesn't watch my videos. Why didn't you make this a little bit more serious instead of making everything a joke? So, anyway, so we have... Um, this guy, whose name I forgot because he's important, he had a thing with, with Artemis, right? And he's cracking. And he says, ah, and he's crying. Now, now get this. So he says, um, hey, hey, listen, pal, you've got to calm down. We've been in tighter uh, scrapes. He says, keep away from me, Deadfall. Maybe you're a demon. Well, we're all demons. We just don't know it yet. And then he's going away and then... And, Artemis says, sure, sure. He always seems so strong. What's been happening to him? The pills don't work on him anymore. Pills? Special psychotropics. And Faniel de develops. Didn't you ever wonder how we could fight against demons and vampires and stuff? And never, one have, and never have one of us freak out? And then, <laughs> Artemis, you liked it, did you? Shut up! <laughs> now, okay, guys. So to all... Now, I must say... If one of you, if, if guys, um, how, do, how do I say this? Women don't like whiny guys. Women don't like guys that are in touch of their feelings. Women mostly want, they say they like sensitive guys, but actually that's a big lie. Because if you show anything, stuff like this, that you are, I don't know, breaking character, that you are, you know, Weak-willed, weak-minded, and that's not an attack on people that are actually like that. But, um, I mean, the women will drop you like flies. And the fly thing comes back a little bit later in this cup, so there was a pun not intended. Um, women like masculine guys or guys that, you know, are a little bit are confident. They don't like guys that cry. That's that's a thing, you know. They can tell you otherwise. No, no, I, I like sensitive guys. They're so nice, and they put you in the friend zone forever, and you <laughs> you can simp for her all you want. But and that's why she's saying this. You, hey, you like him, right? Ah, yeah. Shut up, <laughs> because I don't want to be associated with this weak male. <laughs> Moving on. Um, meanwhile, we have uh, the Duke. I don't know. Um, probably worrying that the war, the, the hell wolves are not. I don't know. Getting back. But then he is talking to this woman that is now in, I don't know, in hell and purgatory and, you know, uh, whatever. This doesn't even, this is a waste of pages. It doesn't matter. Uh, so he says, uh, hey, Bardeen, uh, you, uh, you're going to take her out. And then he's just bragging what he is all going to do to her and blah, blah, blah. And he's getting a, an arrow. Hey, an arrow, guys. She has arrows. No shit, Sherlock. And uh, so he's crying about that. No, well, nobody take on this medicine woman. Uh, and then he's sending his goons. And they're doing patrol with modern weapons. And then this guy is called Spiral. And they, oh, who are you? Did I, did I know you? Who's this guy? So they're shooting at him. He's doing the Spiral thing. Sending this, you know, bullets back. They are dead. And we have this girl here, you know, zapping those guys. And then... All right, so they are they are on the winning side, right? They are winning right now, right? And um, so he says, uh, "Hey, strip the bodies and reload the weapons." But then, Artie, look out! Die traitor to the forces of <laughs> evil! And I said, "Okay, what's happening?" Well, we actually don't see that because later she's just woken up and, and he's he's already there. So you gotta tell me what, what is happening. Is 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 this guy Archduke? I don't know, falling from the rooftops or something and then you know clobbering her from behind or maybe the undead a warhammer did that did he just stroll down the, this this town and nobody supposedly seen him coming towards you because one two three four five six people are around here nobody see him no and, and I, what's what's happening right but you know forget all that 
Don't ask questions, guys. So she's been clobbered. And um, so he's, I don't know, breaking her arm. And then he says, was that the bone I felt snap? I wagger you wish you had one of these arrows. Guys, get it? Arrows? Arrows. That's the whole. Um, so, and then this woman here, that is pretty irrelevant, but it needs to be plot armor, says, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Stop that. And he kills her. That was the whole purpose. So the whole purpose was a bunch of mumbo jumbo about redemption and stuff. And then she intervenes and he kills her. And he breaks her arm. So I thought, okay, now what? And then, and he says, my eye, get off my eye. And I thought, what, what was happening here? What is somebody shooting in his eye, spinning in his eye? And then, oh no, she just uses her mouth to get to, to pull the arrow, guys. Get it? The arrow. And kills him. And now he's dead. What? And... Coming back to that a little bit later. So, uh, that's it, guys. Day one. And then her torturer in issue number one, because she been tortured by this one, and she was a concubine by the Archduke Hell guy. And there are now frenzies for life or something. And that's the book. That's the, <laughs> that's the end. This, this is bad. This is really bad. So I thought to myself, I went back and I couldn't figure it out what went wrong. And then I said, wait a minute. Bzz. Like in, like in, like in, come on, give me that. Like in flies. So you're going to tell me that the Archduke of Hell is being defeated because of a fly that went into his eye and then Artemis shoots his face and then it's goodbye. <laughs> so this mighty mighty demon of hell is being defeated by a magical arrow <laughs> and then he just explodes <laughs> oh my god I love the art by the way the art was fantastic but it was shit and I'm, I'm oh man it sucks it sucks that it's shit but you know the writing was on the wall so yeah, that's it for my review, guys. <laughs> let me tell, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Hi, man. This is over. We're gonna continue to the next issue. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, bye, guys.